And, you know, it doesn't have to cost an arm and leg. You don't have to go to the store and buy something, some fancy gadget to just have a whole bunch of fun with the kids during spring break or whenever. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Local artist Stephanie Pena Frost, owner of Princess and the Monkey, once again joins us, this time with some easy DIY ideas families can do at home. Yeah, so this stuff is what you most people have in their cabinet and their pantry. Nothing, no need to really go out and buy anything. First, we're going to do this really fun uh, sidewalk puff paint. It's Barbersol, it's shaving cream, water, flour. So what you do is you take the flour and the water. Okay. So you mix that together. There we go. Mix it up first. Mix it up okay. first, okay. and then add about about a cup of shaving cream ish in there. And he has the shaving cream there. Ah. Well, there, there you go. go. Oh, it looks like oatmeal. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Add the shaving cream. Got to do it sideways. There you go. Yeah, you got to hold it straight up and down. I there we go. And right. then you mix it all in together. Then you add your food coloring. He has green. Um, you could do yellow, red, any color. The recipe that I have, it, it, it makes three separate batches. So you can mix all the colors. And then from there, once you get the colors mixed in it, uh, no, it's a food coloring box. Where am I? Right oh. there. There we go. You put it into a piping bag, squeeze it into those little squeeze bottles. If you don't have the squeeze bottles, you can use a piping bag. If you don't have a piping bag, you can use a Ziploc bag. Ziploc cut the bag, cut the, cut the corner off right there. And then put it in, and did you get these bottles at... Uh... I got those at, at Hobby Lobby in the tie-dye section. Oh. And they're like two for, good, good for, for, for two bucks. So here we go, and... Oh, how fun. It doesn't stain your concrete and it washes off with the hose or when it rains. Okay, just doing this on a piece of butcher paper like that <laughs> is a blast. It is. It's a, I, yeah, we We're have a lot of We're easily entertained I know. It's a, yes. it's, and you know, you get dirty from it and it's okay because it's not toxic. It's, it's flour, water, shaving cream, might not taste very good, yeah. but you know what? It's all good. And since there is food coming in there, you might want to put old clothes on. That's yes. the one secret. Yes, so. it will stain your hands. It will stain marble countertops. And but, you can write your co-host name yeah. in. Aww. Aww. It's so sweet. So, <laughs> the, so then, yeah, so then we would put it into a piping bag and then you could grab one of those little bottles there and you could write something with it. Okay. Look at I wrote Fiona. Okay, let's see. And it dries really nicely. It doesn't like keep, does it run. If it starts to separate, I just shake it up or add a little bit more of the, of the shaving cream to it and it stays nice and fluffy. Well, you can even just Fair. put little <clears throat> He's having, it down there. he's having fun. Oh, he's having so, fun. So, so then the next thing we're going to do is are these bird feeders. So I take a cart, I, I took a half gallon of milk, I cut out the, the center part after I rinsed it out really well, and then you could paint it to make it look pretty, throw in the bird seeds, hang it from a tree, and you got your own little... Oh, simple as that? As simple as that. Oh, yeah. wow. Hold on. I'm getting some seeds in there. Do you have and seeds? You, could, you do. Yeah. yeah. Seeds. Easy to refill. The birds love it. It's easy. It's a birdhouse slash bird feeder. Oh, well, that's a fantastic so idea. <laughs> and it get, it's, it's reusing everything that you have. Mm -hmm. And I, I would assume it. you could take uh, maybe chopsticks or something like that and poke it through if they need a little perch on exactly, there or something, Exactly. Right? You could always put the little perches in. You could do that. They are hard to cut, so you want to poke the holes first on all four sides and then cut them. If not, the box kind of gets all kind of all soft and it doesn't it's not very stable okay. but so, so if you poke the holes in first maybe then mom and dad do a box cutter to yes. start it and then so let it the kids finish i did Sturdier. scissors <laughs> yes i just i just i just stabbed it with scissors and then we were good to go I and love then this idea. so the final thing is um uh, is this it's a homemade bubbles and um i'm just gonna show y'all and y'all could take take this dip it in there it's uh they make the biggest, prettiest bubbles. Did you use that from a Christmas wreath or something? Uh huh. Yeah, I did. It works best with pipe cleaners or these type of bubbles. It's it's Dawn dishwashing mm -hmm. liquid, glycerin. There was that one. Very cool. Warm water, sugar, and cornstarch. Oh, I would have the never. Wind, the wind, the wind, yeah. the wind, the wind, the wind. The wind. You know, I would have never thought about using pipe cleaners for that, but that would hold a lot of the uh, the liquid in there, yes. a lot of the bubbles. Yes. Well, these are fantastic ideas. Well, I'll tell you what, if you'd like more information, keep going. You're doing great. Or swing it. See how big it is? Hey, the wind and swing is it like that. See if that'll do it. What?
Don't blow on it, just swing it. In swing the, it. In, yeah. There we go. And it comes right back at you. <laughs> if you'd like more information on the Princess and the Monkey and all these great ideas, just go to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. She's going to be occupied for the rest of the day.